Gracias. Ah, eh, me da un gran placer y un gran orgullo y un gran honor, un gran honor de poder estar esta mañana con ustedes, con los padres, con los maestros, con los soñadores, pero más, más que cualquier cosa, el, el hecho de que juntos soñamos, juntos creemos, pero más que todo, juntos triunfamos. I'm excited to be here. I'm honored to be here. For me, to be able to be in your presence is an honor. Because within my presence, there's hope and there's courage and there's strength. And I can feel it because I live and I experience it. I want to say thank you for this great and beautiful opportunity of being here today, for giving me the opportunity to grab a mic where my mom used to grab a mop. Thank you for giving me the opportunity of being in the of building, speaking, where my mom used to clean the building. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to now work in an office where my mom used to keep the trash out of the office. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to experience the power of higher education. I'm thrilled to be here, it's an honor. And as, and as you keep on going with your own personal journey, as you keep on going with your own life, as you, as you keep on going with your own higher education perspective, there's one thing I wanna leave behind today. In, 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 in my 12, 13 years of college, I wanna be able to leave one thing behind that has made me believe that it's possible. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna take tears and sweat. There's gonna be many nights that you're not gonna sleep, but it'll be worth it. It will be worth it, I promise. I remember whenever I first came to the United States, whenever I was 13 years old. I remember what it is to grow up in the streets of Honduras as a street child. I remember what it is to grow up in a trash field and having to see your brother pass away because you do not have money to take him to the hospital. I know what it is to live in extreme poverty. I know what it is to be shot and stabbed due to the gang violence that an entire nation continues to suffer. I understand the reasons why people migrate to this great nation to pursue a better opportunity. I understand that. I understand what it is to live in the United States as an unaccompanied minor in a shelter. In a detention center. I know what it is to be an undocumented person and to be told undocumented, to be told illegal, to be told all of these concepts that sometimes make me feel isolated, that make me go into depression. Yet there's one thing I want to leave behind. I want to talk about what it means to be real. What it means to be real. You're going to meet so many people in this life who, who are going to tell you they got you back. You're going to meet so many people in this life that are going to tell you they're there to support you. But if you're not able to differentiate between what is real and what's not, two things will happen. One, you're not going to be able to value those who are honestly real. And two, those people who you think are real may not be real. But one thing I do know that is real, that's the power of higher education. That I know to be real. And this is what I mean by that letter R. Higher education, it's about a responsibility, but not simply any type of responsibility where you have to do something because someone did something to you. But your education is a responsibility to your community. Your education is a responsibility to your family. Your education is a responsibility to the people that are coming after you because education is power, and not every single person in the nation has the opportunities to do. The state of Texas is the first state that allows people like you and me to have an opportunity to be educated. There are still dreamers who wake up every Every single day crying because they don't have hope to go to education. They don't have an opportunity to be able to dream the way you and I have the opportunity to be here today. Education is a responsibility to be able to empower our communities, to be able to take our families out of poverty. But beyond that, our education is not about our parents supporting our education. It's about them experiencing the power as well. It's important for our parents to go to ESL classes, to learn English, to develop GED courses, and why not enroll in community colleges? Our parents deserve an opportunity to dream as well, and that is our responsibility. We have to create a value. We have, we have to create a domino effect. We have to create a domino effect within your education. It is essential. 
for your cousins, for your mom, for your brother, for your sister to experience this power. Don't just vocalize it. Don't just say you want it. Make sure that it impacts the people that you live with. That higher education becomes a movement within your family, within your community, because there is power and real power. E, expectations. Not the type of expectations that you first learn when you go to school, they tell you to raise your hand if you have a question. Not the ones that they tell you to be able to not speak when someone's speaking. Those are great expectations as they teach you professionalism, mannerism, but I'm talking about life expectations. In the middle, when you think you can't keep on going, in the moment where you believe that people tell you you are a failure. In the moment where you feel in depression due to the fear of deportation. In the moment when you feel you can no longer achieve your dream, set up the stop the hires. Keep on believing, keep on going because education is real. Education is power. But the only one that can set up the standards higher is yourself. Because no one understands our stories. No one understands the pain. No one understands the sacrifices. Unless those that are living it, are experiencing it. Set up your own standards higher. Believe that it's possible. Don't just dream with undergraduate. Think about a master's. Think about a PhD. 